In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use a constraint in assembly with using these three parts. One, two, three. Uh, first, we want to go to New, Assembly, select Place. The three that I saved earlier is this here, here, and here. These are the three that I want to use. Okay, click OK, click Escape. So right now I'm just going to put a color onto them so then um, we know which one's which. Yeah, let's change that to a different color. There we go. You could choose any color you like, but this is the one I'm going to choose. So first what I want to do is go over here and left click and ground the base plate there so now you can't really move it the other one you could okay so now we're gonna go to constraint it's in mate leave it alone first we want to do is select this one with the little dash there and go closer to there hover over till you see that apply you could cancel this. Now grab that and pull it up just a bit so you could kind of see what where it's at. Okay. Select that face and select that face with the constraint command. Let's say apply. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna select that piece and select that piece. It should rotate it. There you go. Apply. Cancel. Now it's constraint. It won't move anywhere. Now we're going to put this one right on top of there. So what we could do is select the constraint again. Select that center piece here. And we're going to be using this one here. Insert. First make sure the arrow is facing down towards it. And then click that. Um, right about there. Voila. Now you have it. Now we have it constrained. So that's how you do it. So if you get a chance, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll be doing some more tutorial and um, get into in depth a little bit more.